happy Wednesday. Um, work was busy today. We actually got a lot of stuff accomplished, but none of it was the stuff that I Iceberg will steal show as usual. Accomplish. Thanks for the host, Fritz. Um, so yeah, none of it was the stuff that I needed to accomplish, but I mean, you know, whatever. I actually got stuff done today, which was nice. Um, hello, Ali. Um, but yeah, so it's group therapy night. Um, ooh, and I have some some new fun stuff to show off. So first of all, um, if you become a tier two subscriber of the channel, you get these two knuckleheads. If you look there in the chat, um, so the llamas, the llamas are forever immortalized as an emote. And if you become a tier three subscriber of the channel, hold on, hold on to your butts. Because it is the very good boy himself. Yeah. So if you go to your, um, if you go to your subscription for the channel, um, you can upgrade your tier. Now it does cost more, but again, anything that comes into the channel goes right back into the channel. It, what comes in the channel stays in the channel. Um, so eventually I will break even and then I will invest in more stuff. But, you know, it's fun stuff. Um, like the pre-built fancy gaming PCs that me and Lollipop definitely haven't been looking at the last couple of days and scoping out stuff. It's fine. No, no, never. We would never. We would never, would we, Lollipop? Technology and me looking at things? No, never. I would never do that. Mm -mm. No, I... Nope. Absolutely not. Hi, friendos. You're over there. It's right there. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um... I do have some new... I do have my first batch of merch coming from the new store. Um, that should be here tomorrow, so I'll get to show, off, show it off on Friday. So hit that merch link if you want to get some. Um, actually, that reminds me. Uh, let me see if your stuff has started printing yet, Allie. Because uh, I can see that as, as like managing the store. It lets me see that stuff. Do, do, do. Do, 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 Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Aw, oh, thanks, Elena. Ooh, yes, your stuff is being printed. Your both your shirt and your sticky are being printed, so that should probably ship in the next couple of days. Cause mine was pretty quick turnaround. Um so, we... Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Look, you can... <laughs> Listen, I mean, sometimes, sometimes you have to upgrade for Kitty Spam. And the best part is, you can use Kitarino on any channel now. So you can go spam Kitarino. Well, don't spam. Don't spam. I'm not, I'm not advocating for spamming other people's channels. But, when asked to use emotes, or if you have a need to, f to share an emote, you can now share the very good boy Kitarino in other channels. So, he's a very good boy. Um, so, that's about it. Um, so, let's, uh, let's kind of get this party started. Ooh, that reminds me. I do have one other thing that's new. Um, so, I started playing around with Twitch soundtrack and doesn't even work right. So um, I could never get it to actually like add the plugin correctly to my OBS. It might, excuse me, it might be my machine. It might be my setup. I don't know. Um, but regardless, um, I decided to try something else. Um, so best friend Mo, um, if you don't follow her, go follow her. Um, Best friend Mo is, um, she uses a service called Pretzel. So I decided I'm going to start 
using pretzel and see how I like it. And instead of me having to click play on YouTube music or the YouTube audio library, we're making sure the tabs, you know, in front or whatever, we have music that we can do now in pretzel. So I'm going to play with this and see how it goes. Like this should, you know, this should, this should be nice. I'm looking forward to it. That's not bad. That's not bad. They have a chill station, so it'll give us something to listen to. Just a, you know. <sighs> so how how was everybody's week this week? Um, I uh, I was out this weekend. Um, I went camping, um, and. As is tradition, the first night I didn't sleep at all, basically. Um, just couldn't get comfortable, couldn't, like, just, I'm not good at camping. I enjoy camping when I have somewhere very comfortable to sleep. That's that's my big thing, is, like, I have to have somewhere comfy to sleep, because there's a lot of me, so I have to put it all in somewhere comfortable, or my sleep gets all messed up. Um... And I'm not a terribly heavy sleeper, so if I wake up, I stay up for a while. And that happened on Friday night. Um, I went, I went to bed. Tried to go to bed around like between ten and ten thirty, um, just because it had been a busy day. I had taken off from work, but we had gone up to Sabrina's mom's to go pack up the camper and um, get her and drive up to the campground. Uh, but yeah, I just, um, so I got, you know, it was pretty tiring just getting all that set up and then cooking dinner and everything like that. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, by 10, 10 30, we were going to bed and, um, I laid down and I finally got to sleep for a little bit. And then around like three 30, I woke up and I just couldn't get back to sleep. Um, so, um, first night was, was I was just pretty tired on Saturday. And then Saturday night I slept a lot better, which was nice. Um, so that worked out okay. Um, but like by the time, you know, Sunday rolled around, I was I was like wasted tired. Like on Sunday night stream, like I was barely holding it together because I was just so tired. Um, and then Monday came and Sabrina had to go to work, which she was exhausted because, um, you know, she had to go back to work, um, get, up, get up at like 6.30 and go back after spring break this past week. And her spring break was her just like being drained from having her, she got the one dose vaccine, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which I'm very thankful she was able to get vaccinated because she works at a school. So, you know, it's a pretty high risk area. Um, but yeah you know she was she spent her break, spring break mostly being on the couch being tired so i kind of felt bad for her because i know she wanted to get more done around the house and um do some other fun stuff around the house or just kind of you know chill out for for fun reasons and sh she had to chill out for being sleepy reasons being tired reasons um yeah ali i i i tend to also not sleep great on vacations only because like my bed is so comfortable and like we spent a lot of money on that bed but I mean we spent more, more on the bed than we spent on just about anything else in the house um, but I mean like like sleep is so important to me like I, I need to sleep I need to be somewhere comfy to sleep so I'm just like Ugh. and it's hard to find somewhere like super comfy to sleep um, when I'm on vacation, so, you know, I'm, I'm pretty picky, and when I find some place that I like, like, even if I have to spend more money, I'm gonna stay somewhere more comfortable, like, I don't care, because I need my sleeps. Um, there's a place that when I go out to Seattle, there's a hotel that I usually stay at downtown, um, because I'm usually down there for, um, the, um, the Microsoft Build Conference. In the last few years, they've held it at the 
the convention center. So I'll stay at this hotel downtown, like a block from it. Um, and makes it really easy to just like walk down to the convention center and do all the stuff and everything around it. Um, so like, I know that one hotel is really comfy and I, I like it a lot. Um, but like I said, you know, I pay a little extra when I go there cause I know it's comfy. Um, but yeah, so then Monday, Monday came around and I went back to work. Um, the stuff that I had done a big chunk of the work for on Friday or Thursday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, I guess. Um, everybody else was still working on their other stuff, so I kind of drew the short straw and had to keep working on that, which was kind of ugh. And it's been, I've been fighting with it the last couple of days, trying to figure out why it's not working when, by all accounts, it should be working. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, it's probably some like checkbox somewhere that's not checked, which is kind of the way it just goes, you know. Um, let's see what else. Ooh, but then, you know, uh, I did have the stuff today that I worked on that actually thanks to Lollipop figuring out that he wanted to do, he needed to do some stuff and he wanted to do it correctly. So... It ended up being like me and him tag teaming on some stuff today and we got extra work that we brought in for the sprint, but it got like the big part of it got done. Now it's just like the stuff that he's got to do for what he needs to finish up what he started last week. Copy pasta. Copy pasta. That's the one, a big bowl of copy pasta. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, that's that's about it for me for the last week. Just spent the weekend trying to relax and chill out and being a little tired, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, what about y'all? What's uh, What's been going on with y'all this week? Oh, same old, same old. Just living the dream, doing a lot of the same stuff. Yeah. It's um, it's busy season. How's work going for you, Elena? She's muted. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that good, huh? When a supervisor's like, I have to leave in fifteen minutes. I want you to send this email and send this meeting for tomorrow. And I'm like, can you just send those? Alright, fine, whatever. Sure. Fine. Just sure. Freaking sure. Yep. Just tell me who Well, she started and then she started talking about the email she wanted me and the other person she dragged into this meeting to send. And then she was talking about that and I'm like, Okay, who do you want in this meeting? Yeah. <laughs> like Like Yes, please let me let me co meeting. let me coordinate this meeting that you want. I I mean, I agree that it's probably necessary. But this is the weird, the weird middle ground of me sort of running the project, but not running the project. Yeah. So like we have no issue tracking. Yeah. Because I am trying not to step on toes, and I don't know what my role is here. So now I'm developing issue tracking logs and things like that. So, and it doesn't help that. We're having an issue that didn't pop up in test, so I'm just, I want to go shake the code. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, I, I already kind of know what's going on, sort of, without seeing the code, but I'm just like, I just don't, I don't know. And one soup's off for the next two days, so we're not getting any buy-in from that, and I've gotten no response from the other three soups on the, the rough issue tracking log I brought up, so I'm just like, okay, fine, I'll just make this and just... Eventually, someone will tell me something, maybe. I'll just do it but, myself. But my boss's boss is happy with me, so I mean, I guess that's good. Listen, like, your your soups all seem like she's she seems like she's awesome, and she's always very happy with you. And if her boss is happy with you, then, you know, it sounds... I'm just kind of like, I don't 
I don't know what the rest of this is going on. <laughs> Just all of these projects need to be done. Yeah. We are, we are officially not going back until at least September 7th. And my boss's boss straight up told me today, do not expect to go back September 7th. Good. That's good. That's good, bad. Because I've been working continual overtime for a year on my weeks in the office. I was slightly looking forward to we were hoping that in june that they what they were going to do was maybe with vaccines out they were going to put the other team in like another building mm -hmm. and so yes there would be some cross like with the courier going and picking stuff up but you'd be able to keep pretty distant for that and then there would be pretty minimal contact i was really hoping for that because then we could pretty much go back to normal hours and like still maintain most of the safety yeah you know, because if, if they're in one building and we're in another, literally the only cross is like IT and the couriers. And that would be cool. But I guess that is at least thrown out the window until September. And based on what she was asking me about today, I think they might be looking at making our work from home weeks semi-permanent and just finding more things for our work from home people to do which is not going to help us it's just going to help other departments so yeah i don't know how that's gonna go well i mean at least on the bright side you're you're still hourly so you're getting overtime you're 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 getting overtime rates for working overtime right correct so that's it that's good like at least they're not taking advantage of you being like salaried and and you know overworking you and not paying you for it anyway so that's good in that regard um but i i can understand how frustrating that could be with things changing and now it's policies being what they are it seems like that yeah not gonna yeah, be so not necessarily I'm, gonna be ideal for you i'm i am very curious to see how that plays out like i kind of knew june was too soon but i was kind of hoping like september Plus, I honestly also I'm waiting for the the fit pitch. Not me. I don't really care. We're not going anywhere because I'm not traveling this year. Yeah. But last year we worked the week of Thanksgiving and the week of Christmas, which kind of sucked. But mm. whatever. I have looked forward, and if we stay on split shifts, my team again works the week of Thanksgiving and the week of Christmas uh. and um, I am just waiting for the teeth gnashing that is going to come from a couple directions when other people figure that out yep if that's if we're going to be apart that long because I think like the the hope has been oh well we'll not be apart that long like my soup's well aware and I think her hope has been oh well we're not going to be apart that long but now with it pushed back to September 7th and I'm sure she's well aware that September 7th is not a comeback date for us. It's just another goalpost line to even reassess. Yeah. Um, that I'm just like, well, um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It's, that uncertainty can be kind of a pain in the ass, huh? It, 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 it's just... I don't want to deal with... I'm going to have to find headphones when they when certain people figure out that we are working Christmas. Although I did suggest to my soup, I'm like, why don't we do a week swap, like swap the weeks for like two months, plan it in advance, tell everyone. And sure, one week gets stuck working two weeks in a row or something. But I think a lot of us would prefer that to working both holidays, both years. Yeah, I think that's, I think that sounds incredibly fair. <laughs> you know, like have us work two weeks in a row and then swap and then just leave the swap. Like, whatever. We don't have to swap back. Yep. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Allie, Sabrina was like that a couple of weeks ago where she she was just, like, counting down the hours until spring break. And then she went that Sunday after spring break started, got her vaccine. And so she, then she was just, like, kind of wiped out. Um, so... Um, but other being than being like tired and you know, I'm sure your arm is sore from the injection site, but are you doing all right otherwise? Oh, let's see. Found out your school is going to go to plan A on April 12th. 
So the only good thing is it's only the hybrid kids will now be four days virtual kids stay virtual. So what is plan A? Because I'm not I'm not really familiar with like how any of that stuff, any of that kind of scheduling stuff works. At least the virtual kids will stay virtual, which is nice. Um, but, you know, like, I know they're, the public schools here are, all across Florida are pushing to get kids back in the classroom. And they are kind of, they are providing incentives to, to the school systems, to the districts to bring the kids back. In so much as they're saying, um... You won't get as much funding if you don't try to bring them back. Um, hmm. Yeah. Which it sounds like they've got they've got vaccines lined up for these children, right? You would think. You would think. Of course not. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That. Ugh. I'm just glad that accident like was was as wasn't as severe as it could have been like I know that you're still in pain from that and that sucks but I'm glad that it didn't turn out to be a whole lot worse that was that was a rough I know I know Tom was pretty shaken up that week too that was oof oh. man this this music's all right Plan A for us is all students signed up for hybrid are not all in person with minimal distancing. Oh, that's nice. So, maybe your school has vaccines lined up too, right? Yeah, exactly. Just like... So, they're just going to come stuff everybody back in the classroom like it's normal again. Here's the thing that kills me in, like, like it's the same problem at every grade level, but for different reasons. Like, in elementary school, you know, it's hard to keep the kids apart because they're hanging out with their friends. Those are their friends, and they just want to be near their friends and do stuff with their friends. And then you get the middle schoolers, like Allie has, and they're all hormony, so... They want to go hang out with their new boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever's friends. And, you know, I mean, then they're also, you know, forming their their social groups. And then by the time they're in high school, those social groups are formed. They are in their cliques or whatever it may be, their social circles. And they are trying to all hang out and and do their things together. So it's just like... There's, there's no way that it's, yeah, it's a charter school. I'm sure there was an incentive to get them back in. Yeah. Say, yeah, same thing here in Florida, but with the public schools. And very little time approving in person. Jesus, like they approved it the same day, just like, oh yeah, this is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's back to normal. Yep, bring all the kids back in. What the fuck? Now, roughly, what what is the percentage of the virtual to the hybrid that you have right now? Um, like, do you have more that are doing the virtual, or do you have more of them doing the hybrid because the parents would prefer them to be in the classroom, or did they like not make as much of the as many of the virtual slots available? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Florida Florida charter schools are sketchy to begin with, Sydney. Like, they're just. Like, charter schools in general are just just a little weird the way that they do their shit, but, like, Florida is a special kind of fucked up. I guess that kind of goes for anything in Florida, though. Florida is just a special kind of fucked up. Jesus Christ, well, they wasted no time. They really did, like, fast track it. And get the okay from the state. All right, bring them all back. What the fuck, man? I just, I can't imagine that. I just, mm -mm. That's, that's not bad. 
Like it, at least at least you have the majority that are virtual, and them staying virtual will be good. Um, but it's still not great that the hybrids are going to have to come back in and stay be back in the classroom full time. I just, oof. Yeah, that is that is not the. Uh, don't call him Big Daddy. He doesn't deserve the title Big Daddy. He's a little fuck is what he is. <sighs> Sorry, I have opinions. But, yes, that is absolutely true facts. It's just... <laughs> like, I don't like it anyway, but then, you know... I also have I I have a vested interest because Sabrina works at a public elementary school, so it's just like, Ugh. Uh. yeah, like that's the thing, you know. Oh, he calls himself that. Gross. Gross. Uh, the districts here are huge and a mess, but I'm thinking about getting into a true public school. Being in a charter gives me weird feelings, even though I like the people I work with. Yeah, that's that's kind of like you know. After a while, working at the the the, the biggish software company that I was at, same kind of thing, you know. Like I I love the people that I work with there, but after a while, I'm like, this is just mm, it's not for me, and just just didn't feel right. The whole thing didn't feel right. Um, yeah, you're out of the school world right now, but I mean, you know, aren't you looking to get back into it at some point, Sydney? I know. I mean, I know that you miss your students from when you were back in Louisiana, so is that something that you're still looking at maybe going back into at some point? Hmm. What is this? Let's see what's next. Okay, that'll work. As a behavior technician, I just want to advocate. All right. A behavior technician. I like that. That's that's a that's a fun title. It's a fun sounding title. It's probably not You're as a fun sounding title. Your face is a fun sounding title. Ooh, thank you. Ooh, I think. Probably sick burn, sickish burn. Potentially. Something like that. Yeah, that's what I... That's that's the thing. Like, the charter school, like... It's like... It's like... Public school association, but with, like... Private school, like... Horse shittery? Like, at least at a private school, like, you know what you're getting into. With a charter school, you're just like... It's like you're, you, you get to double dip and... You get the benefits of both with the responsibilities of neither. I don't know. It's just... Yeah. <sighs> like, okay, so... Um... I think Sabrina was telling me that not too long ago here, the district here made um, school lunches free for all students, which is amazing. And it kind of makes me wonder, like, why we just didn't do that to begin with? Like, they were so cheap to begin with. Like, just why wouldn't you just do that? Like, you, you, you the kids got to go to school for, like, a six-hour stretch fucking feed the kid you know no, like they gotta pay their own way <laughs> yeah they gotta pull themselves up by their bootstraps right yeah that's true too i don't i don't like the whole like like i was in i was in like different programs as a kid but like i didn't go to a completely separate school just for that kind of stuff um and now like Whoa, 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 so they would make them pay four fucking dollars for a lunch? That's horse shit. 
Jesus Christ. That's fucking ridiculous. Making a kid pay four fucking dollars for lunch. So you've got a kid, you're like four. So essentially, it's costing you 80 bucks a month to feed your kid at school that they have to be at school anyway. Like, what the fuck? That's ridiculous. That's so fucking, that's, that's fucking extortion. Jesus Christ. Mm mm. Oh. Okay, so if doing like, like the 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 lottery system, that's a little better. You know, at least they're not doing it like purely by achievement level, which is good. Because I mean, if you're if you're opening schools based purely on achievement levels, then you're just widening the gap between the students who are already doing well and the students who need the extra help to get to that level. So if you widen that gap, they're just going to have like further to, to need to catch up. It's just, ugh. but let's be real and not faulting Ali. Obviously Ali did not create the system. Even most of those lottery systems from what I know require some sort of paperwork and entry and sure. you know, getting your name in the right place in the right time. And who's going to have more time to do that? Karen from Suburbia, who is a stay at home mom Karen. or the mom who works three Fucking jobs. Karen. Fucking you know, Karen. it it's again, you know, no fault of the people working in the system to help the kids. I it's great. But even those lottery systems like that's what because a lot of i've seen it in a couple other things like even when you think you're opening it to all you have to think about the time put in for those things and a lot of the times those underprivileged kids still miss those lottery systems because mom didn't put in the deadline or didn't even know about it yeah you know so it it, it becomes kind of it, it becomes almost more noise than actual do and yes it works for some which is great but it's still it it's a band-aid not an actual solution yep yeah well and like you know you talk about the like the the, the moms that are working three fucking jobs because they got kids that they got to they got a house they got a feed they got a clothes they got to get them other shit for school they got to pay their for their fucking four dollar a day lunch and three dollar a day breakfast so if you have a kid that because you're working you don't have time to feed your child breakfast in the morning they have to eat at school and they're at school anyway so they have to eat lunch and you're talking seven bucks a day that's that's fucking 35 bucks a week so you're talking mm -hmm. like nearly you're talking nearly 150 dollars a month just to feed your kid at school like so you have to find that extra 150 bucks somewhere on top of all the other shit that you have to pay for as a parent i'm trying to remember what the amount that we paid for like at least that i paid for in high school because just for a basic like you got lunch from the school and that's it like none of the like we had a snack aisle and stuff like that and they we had bonus stuff and that you could also buy and things but i'm trying to remember how much just give me a tray with your shitty cardboard pizza and a milk and how much that cost me and i'm trying to remember how much that even was and i don't even think it was four bucks no oh, I that's, think mine, that's insane yeah mine was mine, i think mine was more than that but i am um, my high school was the epitome of privileged white suburbia so I was say you might knowing where you went to school at though you might have also gotten better than cardboard pizza uh sometimes yes sometimes no it wasn't as fancy as you would think like our um, our, our school lunches weren't like gourmet by any means they were nice but i mean uh, i also have a tendency to like you know um, i like eating crap food so cafeteria food is okay to me, but I can understand how it would, you know, not necessarily meet specific nutrition guidelines. Um, but like even in high school, our lunch was like, I want to say it like it wasn't more than a dollar unless you got extra shit, you know, and that's in high school. But like, yeah, Sydney, like this is, we literally pay taxes. I'll pay an extra fucking 1% in property taxes every year if the fucking kids get to eat. Jesus Christ. Like, tag on another fucking hundred bucks on my fucking property taxes. Let's go. 
Feed the fucking kids. Right? Jesus I mean, Christ. Or, 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 here's a crazy idea. Here's a crazy idea. Sell the grenade launchers we give to random police stations and feed the kids. Just, just, just saying. That too. Crazy idea, but, you know, that I think it might too. work. Yeah. I think it might work. What a grenade launcher? <sighs> no. I, no I, grenade launcher for you. You, you can have a t-shirt cannon, but that's it. I mean, why not both? Why can't we shoot t-shirts out of a gr grenade launcher? Why can't you shoot grenades out of a t-shirt cannon? Don't give people ideas. Okay, don't, don't, don't <laughs> shoot grenades. <laughs> people ideas. Right, that's fair point. <laughs> I'm not advocating... <laughs> Stop I'm, giving Florida man ideas. I'm not advocating for shooting grenades out of anything, but t-shirt cannons, t-shirts out of a t-shirt cannon, just, you know, don't shoot anybody in the head or whatever with it. I am tired of lunch debt. I am, I am so tired of lunch debt being a thing. I, yeah. I, okay, so I went to middle school and high school in privileged white suburbia, but, um... My mom worked in the inner city as a teacher, so I kind of have a really mixed view on a lot of things, in, interestingly enough. And lunch debt is just stupid, and what what kills me is the places that get it right aren't the places that need to get it right. Yeah. My school got it right. There wasn't... You never knew who was on free lunch. You never knew who was... Um, like, I don't think there was ever a peep about someone having lunch debt, I guarantee if there was ever an issue, it was either taken care of or wiped away. Right. Because there were a bunch of privileged fucking people working there. So there were only a couple... We did actually have more than you would expect for the city because there was a, like, slice of a nearby city that went to our schools um, because of the way that the shapes of the districting was, and so it was, like, a much lower cost of living suburb so like a couple blocks of that suburb went to our school so we did have a few mm -hmm. um which didn't matter to any of us but whatever but that district got it right but they didn't you had maybe 10 kids in two schools who needed it yeah my mom's school you know freaking was she was using um freaking textbooks from like the 1980s unless she was buying them herself yeah. so it it's it's stupid. Yeah. And it makes me mad. Hi, Andrea. R R R R. And this, and this is just a small list of the reasons why we all need therapy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but like people like you know Allie and Sydney who have worked inside of these systems, you know, and they see these programs where they you know they send you know snacks home with kids i mean it, this kind of to me comes back to you see commercials all the time for um organizations like so for me i i i have a particular interest just I mean, not like a necessarily like a serious interest but something that just like is on my mind a lot um organizations for military veterans okay um so things like um DAV and and VFW and um, Wounded Warrior Project stuff like that and I like like organizations like that are doing really great things but imagine if we didn't need like if imagine if there wasn't a need for those organizations to even exist like imagine an, if our tax dollars did what they were supposed to. Like imagine if, if no no I mean but it's it's true though like imagine if we were taking you know like we were actually taking care of people the way that we should be taking care of people. You know well you, like yeah Andrea that like Rain has a special hotline just for service members. I mean we have a veterans administration that their whole purpose their whole, the entire reason that the VA exists is for when people leave military service to get the care that they need afterwards to get the care and the services that they require so like why you know well, the VA is its own nightmare from what I've heard it's seen. It, I think it's very location dependent 
Yeah, what is HEP? I'm I'm not familiar with HEP. Well, that's that's the problem with a lot of things, Sydney, is the people that need to care don't, and that's that's yeah. Which I, I think in part if we now, granted this would not fix all things, but if we didn't pay people the absolute minimum, some of them would probably care more. Well, yeah, livable wage but is a whole other thing. Oh paid. the the homeless empowerment project, yeah, I've I've heard of that. Yep. But yeah, like like people have fucking money, like Stop trying to go to fucking Mars and build houses for people here on fucking Earth. Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, we literally don't even have to build them. We literally just have to kind of allocate them. Yeah, they that's exist. that's we that's also true. That's also true. All right, all right. We're getting we're getting way into the weeds, and we are like we're not even like towing the line anymore. We have rules. We need to respect the rules. But this is just another. This is just another reason why we all need therapy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good lord. Uh, yeah, like I'm kind of on board with Mars because Lord knows when we're going to ruin this planet. Um. <laughs> Dang. Uh, <laughs> mm. w who is who is Whittle Meow? Wait, wait, why does that sound familiar? Why does Whittle Meow sound familiar? Cats is always the new topic, Andrea. You know this. Ask Mittens Kittens. Mittens Kittens! I love Mittens Kittens. Okay, so for those of you who don't follow Andrea on Twitter, um, you should follow her on Twitter. Her handle is Hip Hippie. So it's like her, it's like her Twitch handle, just without the 2B. Okay. Oh, the one across the street. Oh. Um, but Andrea has this beautiful cat. And she's well, she's a she's a Russian blue, right, Andrea? Um she's a Russian I think she's a Russian blue and she's just this beautiful kitty. And she is um her name is Mittens. And we call her Mittens Kittens, because she's the Mittens Kittens. Oh, Hims has a tiny meow, and he couldn't find a home, but someone adopted him. Oh. Hold on. Let me see if I can find a picture of the Mittens kittens real quick. Andrea, are, can I can I show people pictures of your beautiful Mittens kittens? I'm going to go find a, a good one. That's good to do. Actually, your your header image is is a pretty good one. Oh. Okay, let me show. Let's see. This is this. This is the mittens kittens. Look at that sweet fluffin baby. Oh, look at her. Now that is a, she's just a sweet baby. She's so sweet, and she's she's slightly independent, but sometimes she needs the love too. Um, I remember one time I, I I went on a very a very tragic car ride with her, and it was it was she did not have a good time, but we 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 made sure she was okay. She's a very good mittens kittens. That was a that was not a great day for her. But she's okay. That was... That's been a couple of years now. Holy shit. That's been a while now. Like three years? Something like that? I don't remember. That's hey, been a Microsoft while. Hey, Microsoft guy. Yeah. Completely unrelated to anything. When is Xbox Design Lab coming back? I don't know. So they shut down okay. Xbox Design Lab because they were coming out with the new, new controller. Um... So here, I'll, sh I'll show everybody. So there's, this is the original, this is the original day one controller from the, the Xbox One from like 2013, okay? Um, then they came out with, they, they modified the design slightly and started the Xbox Design Lab where you could get your own like custom controllers. So this is my, 
God, I got a dust in here. Um, so this is my Xbox Design Lab controller with the green, and I don't know. Here, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can get it to. Yeah, it's got my. Come on, focus. Yeah, it's, we can see it. It's too. Yeah. It's fair enough. Yeah, I mean you can see it. Um. But it's got my uh, my my gamer tag on it. Um, and then they have the new new one, which is even more slightly different, but it's also got the big share button in the middle. So we can be off topic. We just, we're not supposed to be discussing politics. There's no politics rule, so we don't talk about politics. We were, we were too far into that. We need to center it again. Get it, get away from that stuff. This is okay. I just wanted to make sure because if anyone would know when it was coming back, it would be you, and I couldn't find anything, so I figured I'd ask you. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about it. Um, it's but it's supposed to be. It's like it's coming back in 2021 sometime. Um, they just haven't said when yet. Um, I think part of the problem is because they're having supply chain issues with everything else right now because of COVID. Um, they're. Um, they're kind of like waiting we for get to a Zelda collab and get more links in the supply chain. Oh my god! Now you can't you can't have you you can't have Zelda links in your Microsoft supply chain. It just doesn't work that way. See, they're incompatible. Well, that's the problem. Then they have no links in their supply chain, and that's that's what is a chain with no links? I mean, lonk, <laughs> lonk. Legend of Zeldor, Clarinet of Tom. Uh, <laughs> the gold one? Oh, now the shiny gold one? Like, now that's pretty. That one's, like, it is It is shiny as fuck, and it is pretty. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, like, it's gaudy. It's, it's fucking gaudy. No, this is, no, this is, this is what happens anyway. Listen, listen, Andrea, any other night, like when we're playing games, like it's these two and Tom yelling at me, just random shit. So this is, this is, this me is fine. Yell? What? Uh, impossible. There we go. So there's, there's like a, one of the gold Xbox One controllers, which again, gaudy, but Jesus Christ. I like, Did you see... Probably Did not. Did you see the um that the Linus Tech Tips guys actually cast an Xbox Series X controller in solid gold? No. They paid like eighty thousand dollars to have the shell and tr and shoulder buttons of an Xbox Series X controller cast oh my and God. The, it's a fully functional controller and the part of that that i think is the most hilarious thing is that he did this and he didn't tell his wife who does his financing for his company in in lollipop's defense Lollipop would never be able to sneak a purchase like that past you. That's not just something I can put on a credit card and get away with. That's that's true. <laughs> that's true. That would require him to know what's going on in our bank accounts more than the money is there. Like Jesus Christ. Okay, so so it wasn't pure gold. It was. It says it was cut with an alloy containing silver, zinc, and copper. Just because gold is so like soft and fragile, right? Um, mm -hmm. So they did. They did. They did cut it with an alloy to make sure that it actually stands up and you know is usable without like just squishing in your hands essentially. Because gold, you know, pure gold can do that. But like, still like eighty grand. I mean, that's, yeah, it's a lot of fucking gold, but Jesus Christ. You have to uh. wear gloves when you use the controller, otherwise you'll ruin the finish on it. Holy fuck. What is the point at 
that point. Like, you can't even use it for its purpose. It's literally just a shiny trophy. And the case, phrase, just... the phrase weird flex. Yeah. But okay. You, 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 <laughs> you, you, you just said it, though, Elena. Like, it's, it's literally just to sh like say that you've done it. Like, just to say that you have it. It's a weird trophy. Let's just, Why? Let's just put it another way. Some dude that makes YouTube videos for a living can afford to just drop 80 grand on a fucking Xbox controller. Well, yeah, you've been watching him for years, so he's got a bajillion videos. Yes, yeah, Patina, the, the, the... Every single day. The, the, the... the, the like, the, the, the stuff that forms on the... The tarnish, the tarnish, yes. The tarnish, that's what it is. It's tarnishing, it tarnishes it. Sydney, we got to get you an Xbox at some point so you can like is, play the games with us. There is literally no amount of money. I might that, buy a second one and give you Chris one. Chris could ever make that I would be okay with him just spending 80k without me money. I I don't care if you make like a million a year. I 80k is way too much to just disappear. I I would I would have to make enough money to where I could spend 80k and you not notice. Oh no 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 no. Again, once again, um, I think you're. I think you're grossly, and, and, and I know you're not really, because I know you know this. But you are grossly underestimating her ability to notice even small percentages of a large sum, because a small percentage of a large sum is still a fairly large sum. Now, the way that this would have to work is that this would have to be. I would have to make enough money to where. I can get enough money safe into an account that only I can see, and then I just buy it. Yeah, you do have an allowance and account, but um, I don't think you're ever going to make enough where 80 grand is going to be in there no. in any reasonable no. amount of time. No. No, because there are so many other things I would rather spend 80 grand on. Yeah, no, 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 like, no, 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 no. Like video games I'm never going to play. Like video. Listen, listen. Every, I don't even I don't even PC game. I don't even PC game, but everybody's got a fucking Steam wish list, don't they? Everybody's got Steam, one. Steam is basically like a Pokemon game at this point. You gotta and catch video them all. Games are the Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> um actually I think I think my wish list is is actually not on Steam. I think mine's on GOG, just because I like GOG better. Um and I like GOG better because it has so much of the old shit that I like. Um, oh, I don't even have a wish list on GOG right now. It's empty. There's there's nothing on it. Also, also, um, just just to uh, round things out a little bit, they added Octopack Traveler to Game Pass, and that that is a that's a thing, and it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. I've I have heard very good things about Octopath Traveler. Isn't that a, isn't that a Square Anus game? Square Anus. <laughs> yeah, that's Square Anus. They make they make uh, all them they make all them Final Fantasies games. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, this is the content, people. This, this is what we Square do. Square Anus make the Final Fantasy games. Fantasy. Ah, I see what you did there. Um, no, like I I. I do I do want us to play dungeons soon cuz um like neither neither one of you have played dungeons, right? Correct. Yeah, I think you both would like it very much. I know Lollipop, I know that you'll love dungeons. Um but I think you will also like it, Elena. Um I just I'm either going to like it or I'm going to hate it and there is probably no in between. Yeah, I think I think you'll like it. I think you will like it. Um the only in between is me hating it the first day and then coming around and being like, "Oh, okay, this is okay." That is the only in between. I it has been everything that I have seen for it. It is really described as a simplified Diablo. It really is like Well, and I don't have to sit through anyone else doing their loot, so that is Correct. That is right. That's that's the beauty of of dungeons like it is like you take a lot of those basic elements from Diablo um, or like, I mean, any like dungeon crawler really, and you slap cutesy Minecraft stuff on top of it and there you go. You're done. You're done. And it's like, it's 
Like it's it's not hard to play. Like it's it's easy to play. It's fun to play. There are difficulty levels, so you can make it a lot harder. Um, but it's really like I know Tom's really been wanting to play it. I know I feel bad because he's been like really looking forward to it. I am gonna say if you all want to play on like super super crazy difficult demon hard levels, then I I am outy. Oh yeah, no, I no, not, same, no. I'm, I'm not the difficult combat one. No, hard, hard, fucking same. Not, not gonna happen. <laughs> There's no way. I don't, I, don't, I can't play hard games. I quit playing fucking Monster Sanctuary for God's sake because I couldn't handle it. Because I'm not I that mean, good. I too, a little bit later than you, but. Oh. I just assume you're good at combat. I'm, I'm okay-ish at combat, but this is why, like. So it d it depends. Like in a group setting, I'm all right. On like solo play, not great. And then you want to talk about like first person, I'm just yeah. Eh. Now Sabrina, Sabrina's good at first person. Um, like every once in a great while, she'll go back and um, a couple of the Call of Duty games have zombie modes, like zombie horde modes that she'll go play, and she loves to play those modes. She 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 likes like like a goofy zombie things so like the call of duty zombie levels um any of the plants versus zombies garden warfare games um there's like garden warfare garden warfare 2 and then like battle for neighborville uh, we've got all of those and she she loves that series um so those are those are f great um yeah plants versus zombies garden warfare let me see if any of those are on game actually they're on they might be on EA Play. Let me see. Um, the original um, Plants vs. Zombies is on Game Pass. I haven't paid attention past that because, to me, Garden Warfare are atrocities of the original. But that's because I really like the original gameplay and none of the rest of it. Did you play Garden yeah, Warfare very much? Not far into it. It's a completely different gameplay. Okay. You... I... So I, I'm the same way, like I really love like original tower defense, plants versus zombies, like mobile game. Okay. Um, loved it, loved it, loved it. And so when guard warfare came out, I was a little skeptical because that was during a time when like they were trying to make a lot of different, um, properties into first person style games. Um, now it's third person. So the camera's set back a little bit. Um, so you get to actually see your adorable character as they're doing their stuff. But like, after you play it for a while and it's it's i really enjoy it and like i said sabrina loves it like she's gotten just i don't do any of that kind of stuff so the the whole concept to me was was ruined let me see because if you put me in anything that even remotely resembles actual combat with zombies i'm out oh gotcha like the, the most I ever did was Left 4 Dead 2, and my entire purpose hey, was to piss off my entire team by uh, shooting the witch. Yeah. Howdy, Ines. How's it going? All right, so... Um, I, I'm just picturing Andrea requesting you to pack Sabrina up in a box and ship her to her. Yeah, she's been asking me to do that for, like, six years. Like, she literally, she literally wants me to just, like put her in a little box with with packing peanuts and then she gets there and andrea opens the box and sabrina just pops out and packing peanuts go everywhere and you know and video games are played yeah video games are played all right um ns so i'm sorry that you're not having a great day bud um but would you like to pick a craisin flavor or would you like to um would you like it to be dealer's choice so here are the flavors. Exclamation point flavors will tell you what flavors of craisins I currently have. So there are your choices. Um, or you can choose dealer's choice, which I will just pick whatever my little heart desires. Um, but yeah, no, like I would, I would, sh I would, I would put Sabrina in a box. She would arrive at Andrea's place. The, she would open the box and Andrea would go, oh my God. And she would get all excited and stuff. All right, chocolate it is. Ooh, I'm running low on the chocolate. I think I gotta get a new bag. Chocolate. Chocolate. Hmm. Uh, 
I love the chocolates. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get more. Actually, I gotta, I gotta start chewing through my uh, my bag of original here before too long. That's gonna be my my daytime snack because. I am currently overstocked on them. I didn't think overstocked and craisins were words that went in the same sentence for you. You have to enjoy them responsibly. They have to be part of a balanced diet. And you got to make sure you actually, you know, eat the craisins. And the original ones, they deserve love, too. Without the original, we wouldn't have all of the delicious flavors and covers and and trail mixes and everything. Yeah, and as I saw that right before I, I had to dip out for um, for um, tonight's stream. Um, you all right, bud? Like, is there is there anything you want to talk about? Or, you know, you d please don't feel pressured to. But if you want to, that's that's what this is for. That's what this whole stream is about. Um, ooh, Thin Mints. I still have my... I still have a few of my s'mores cookies left here, too. Mm. I haven't opened my, um, I haven't opened my shortbreads yet. I'm, I'm saving them. I'm gonna have the shortbreads, like, once I finish the s'mores. Because, you know, the s'mores are already open, and the, the shortbreads, they're very buttery. As Paul Hollywood would say, buttery. Um, so, so on Game Pass, it looks like the original Plants vs. Zombies is available for Xbox 360, which is backwards compatible, so it will play on Xbox One and Xbox Series. Um, there is Plants vs. Zombies Game of the Year Edition is available for... PC, so those two are both the original, that, that's your style, Elena, that's like, that's, um, yeah, oh Jesus, NS, holy shit, oh bud, that's rough, I'm really sorry, Um, let's see, they've got Garden Warfare, Garden Warfare 2, and Battle for Neighborville. Look like they're all available on uh, Game Pass. So it looks like like the basically the entire complement of console Plants vs. Zombies games are available on Game Pass. Which is pretty nice. <sighs> And if you want to buy them to own them, you get, um, I think it's 10% off. Yeah, 10% off um, when you have Game Pass because it has EA Play. There's, they're actually part of EA Play. So. Oh, Octopath Traveler is also cloud enabled. So I could play it from my phone. So are all of the dooms. They sure are. So is Undertale. Doom is eternal. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. When does my Game Pass expire? Let me see. I have a tendency to, like, re up my Game Pass shit. Like, way into the future, because. You know, that's what I do. Oh, by the way, um, I, again, unrelated to tonight, but I have, um, I have the realm set to expire, like, the, the official, like, Mojang realm set to expire at the end of, um, 
or like next Wednesday, I think. So pour one out for it. And we're keeping the private server, though. I mean, the private server's been working. Ooh. Stick with what's good. Jesus, NS, that sucks, but I'm really sorry. Um, we had something similar happen to me and Sabrina um, a few months ago. Um, we had to take a road trip out um, to Louisiana, and uh, we ended up in an accident where... Um, thankfully it wasn't like terribly high speed, but, um, we got rear ended and then pushed into the car in front of us. So because we got pushed and, um, there were conflicting stories at the scene, you know, when the trooper arrived finally two hours later, um, my insurance has been dealing with that for a while. Um, thankfully, um, we had purchased like the uh, extra like vehicle liability, like the damage waiver from the rental company. So the rental car itself was covered and didn't, that didn't matter. But because we got pushed, things got, things got complicated. So yeah. Um, let's see here. I think my camera just blinked out on me. Yep. It does that sometimes. There we go. I think the, um, I think that the music is nice. Mm hmm. Seriously, with the fucking gold controller. Like, Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, I'm... I'm I'm pretty anxious when I drive now, too, ever since our thing last year. Um, I got shaken up several years ago for a while. Um, so I used to work for a construction company. I was their IT guy, and I had to travel all over Florida um, to the different job sites whenever they would need, like, an actual, like, physical something done. It's like computer died, and I had to come out and fix it, or network setup, or network issues, whatever it may be. Um, so... My mom's trying to call. That's funny. Um, so uh, when um, when I was coming back from Jacksonville uh, one one day, so um, for those that aren't aware, so um, you've seen how Florida is shaped. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it from y'all's perspective. So you've seen how Florida is shaped with the Panhandle and then coming down. So um, Jacksonville is up in the the southeast corner of, or the northeast corner of Florida. Sorry, I say southeast. I'm from Georgia. Jacksonville's nearby. It's habit. So Jacksonville's in the northeast corner of Florida, and then Tampa's down here in like west central Florida. So the way I usually go to and from Jacksonville is across I-4 that goes through Orlando and hits Daytona, and then go up I-95. Um, so coming back down one day from Jacksonville, um, I'm coming on down I-4, and not long after I get into Hillsborough County, which is the county where Tampa proper is, um, there's like a wall of rain. 
and Florida, the way it rains, like you could be standing in one spot and it could be raining on one side of you and you could be like just bone dry on the other. Just the way Florida rain works. Like it just, just comes straight down wherever it is. Um, so there was this wall of rain and I didn't realize there was you know, like a lot of standing water on the road because it was raining a lot harder than I thought it was because I was like I was coming from a dry spot like it was not raining and then it was just pouring um, and there was some standing water on the road and um, the tires on the company car that I had were not in great shape they didn't have great tread on them um, and they just weren't like great tires to begin with and so I had made a you know I would made a couple of comments about it to um, the folks at work, the, the pertinent folks at work say, hey, listen, something's got to be done about these tires. And they're like, well, we looked at it. It looks fine. I'm like, okay, well, I'm telling you, there's something wrong with these tires. So um, I hit this, like, I hit this water on the road and uh, I'm going like 70 miles an hour. I'm on the interstate. So I spun out. Um, and thankfully, I had the presence of mind to pull the re the wheel in the other direction so instead of spinning into oncoming traffic i spun out into my shoulder um and like car was fine i was fine physically like i just got really shaken up though like it was just that that messed me up for a while and like ever since then i don't like really driving in the rain as much um that's been that was a that was a pretty rough one on me um so yeah Yeah, Ali, I, 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 I can't imagine like dealing with with that accident. Like, but again, thankfully, it, yours wasn't as bad as it could have been. So, Ns, I really hope that your grandparents are all right, bud. That's that is never an easy thing to go through. Um, so. So let me ask everybody something. Um, we've done this now. This is our second group therapy. Um, this is our third week doing like therapy talk. Um, next week, Tuesday after Tuesday afternoon, I have my therapist appointment again. Um, so I'm gonna go in and ask her some stuff, some like some some pertinent stuff, um, and then. Um, next Wednesday will be like my therapy review session where I'll kind of go over everything that we talked about, do like a question and answer thing and, um, stuff like that. So we'll keep doing that. And then the following week we'll do group therapy again, but, um, is like, is weekly good for y'all? Um, is that too frequent? Would you want to... Um, uh, would you want to like, um, take it down to like group therapy every other week? Um, do y'all have a preference one way or another? Well, like I just, you know, I want to make sure this is something that's useful for everybody that everybody finds useful and helpful. Um, would a different night work? What, what, uh, what's everybody's thoughts on it? And I mean, I guess I've got Lollipop and Elena, I've got the two of you on voice already, so... Um, do y'all have a preference? Do you do you like the way we're doing this? Would you rather see something different? Would you like me to try to come up with topics beforehand myself or what? Hashtag it's your channel. Hashtag do what you enjoy. Well, oh yeah, I mean it. It is my channel, but I, I, you, you know me well enough by now to know that like, you know. I don't just do this for me. Like I, I want to try to make sure I'm doing this for for y'all as well. Um, you know, I I want to make sure it's it's something that people find useful. Like I can sit here and blather on all day long if I really want to, but you know that's not necessarily what other people are going to find helpful. So I just I just want to make sure it's you know it's what other people are finding they're finding value in it. I guess. 
I sound like I'm in a business meeting. That's fine. That's because you make your fun time your job, too. I'm a Capricorn, you see. That's how that works. As I hold my little mini flathead for some reason. I'm holding it. It's right here, though. So, I had to pick it up and mold it. NS, you like the weekly format? I, 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 I do, too. Um, I... I agree. It's it's a nice way to just kind of decompress and just kind of vomit out everything that I've had on my mind the last few days. Um, but again, you know, I I want it to to be helpful for everyone too, for everyone else. Because again, this is this isn't really for me. This is for y'all. Like I want to make sure this is this is stuff that y'all enjoy and find useful and helpful and all that shit. I enjoy it. All right. I'm, uh, I do want to try to come up with like topics that we can talk about every once in a while, but it's kind of hard for me to, to get to that point just yet. I mean, I'm just, I just don't know, you know? Um, and that's kind of why I, I ask, every week in the group therapy channel in the discord um if there's something specific that y'all would like to to talk about so you know if you ever think of anything if it's just you know in the middle of a given day or a week or whatever something comes to your mind it's like you know i'd really like to talk about this topic on group therapy night let me know like we can we can make that happen um, if others of you would like to join me on voice, Ali, I know you were talking about trying to get your headset working so that you could do that. I would love to have you. You know, I would love to have you anytime you want to be on. Um, but you know, we'll just, we'll, we can make that work. Um, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if. If you want to, yeah, I, I'm, I, I, I enjoy it too. Like sometimes it's just, like I love playing the games with everybody, but I also want to just, you know, just the chit chat. I think, I think that's part of the reason why I started with the games because I knew people would come talk about the games and and just, you know, it'd give them something to watch while we just kind of bullshit. But I like sometimes just also doing the bullshit because I think that's. I think there's, it's just nice. Distraction free. Necessary distraction is what I like to say. It's like having the TV on in the background while you're working. Like, um, or like I'll, I'll watch, you know, other streamers during the day and stuff while I'm working on stuff and just having a voice in my ear or, you know, you know, I'm on the phone with you like most of the day during work hours because we're we're all we're already talking about work stuff anyway but then you know just kind of having a voice in my ear helps out because then it's like like it doesn't get too quiet in here and it's just like like i don't become like hyper aware that i'm alone in the house mm -hmm. so but yeah um yeah, Allie, if you can, like, once you once you have your headset back, you know, from work, if you wanna, if you wanna come on, you again, you know, I'd love to have you anytime you wanna be on. Let's see. Um, I do, I do want to try to do dungeons. I won't do it this week, or I won't do it on Friday. Let me say that I won't do it Friday. But we may do it on Sunday. Um, that's true. You could heckle Tom on the streams. You absolutely could. Where is... Do, 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 do. Okay. So Dungeons is, is Game Pass. So... Y'all would, you y'all would only have to get one copy of it, right, Lollipop? Mm-hmm. Because you have Game Pass, but Elena, you don't. Correct. Okay. 
Correct. I'd have to buy it. Right. I don't think we did that yet, but that's easy. Okay. I don't think it's... I, I think it's only like 20 bucks anyway. It's, it's, yeah, it's like 30 Uh Oh, it says it says the regular is 19 Huh. Do we need the expansions or anything like that? Um, I don't have the expansions, so I wouldn't be able to... Oh, actually. Okay, so you. I, I just tested this to see if it works, and I think it does. So, Elena, you would pay the nineteen ninety nine um, because you don't have Game Pass. Lollipop, if you bought it to own, you would pay fifteen ninety nine because Game Pass games are twenty percent off when you buy them to own um, while they're still on Game Pass. If you buy it as a gift, you get it at the Game Pass discounted price. So if you bought it for Elena, then it would only be the 16 versus the 20. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's four bucks, but four bucks is four bucks. I mean, we just ordered a modem to save like what five bucks a month so <laughs> i mean there you I, go i i i spent time i spent time on the phone with frontier to tell them to not charge me for a modem of theirs that i don't use so or router of theirs that i don't use so mm, yeah let's see uh dungeons Yep. Da, 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 da. I don't know that I have the hero DLC. I don't think I got the DLC. Let's see if I can get the hero pass upgrade. No. But it's only the... So I guess games are 20% and DLC is 10% off with Game Pass. Which makes sense. I, I'll probably go ahead and get that. Some conversation starters would be a nice thing to have. Yeah, I think that's, that's part of my thing is like... I'm not always great at coming up with those. Um, like, I'm... I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to figure that stuff out, but we're just getting it started. I mean, again, this is our, this is our third therapy night overall, second group therapy night, so. Plus your actual therapy might give you some of those by ones that are given to you for your own thinking, so. Yeah, that's also a good point. Uh, let me see, where's. Why is my other console not on here? Oh, that's not set as my home console. That's why. Oops. Okay, yeah, Ali, if you if you think of anything that you want to be, you know, if you want think of a topic that you want or whatever, then by all means just throw ideas at me. If you don't want to throw it in the chat, if you want to just send me a DM or or text me or whatever, I mean, you know how to get in touch with me. You know where to find me. Man, I'm really liking I'm really liking the pretzel. You can show up at my door. And if you bring Tom with you and he'll bring his key, he'll open the door and he'll walk in and go, "Hi, it's me, Stan." Yeah, you you would you would either have to steal Tom's keys or just bring Tom. Just bring Tom. Did you know that you could just bring Tom? You could bring Tom. Just throwing that out there. Just not on wrestling night. Bring him, bring him, and I'll get some Jameson, and we'll we'll get him, we'll we'll get him toasty, and he can talk, he can laugh at the light nipples. Did I ever tell the light nipple? Did I ever tell the light nipple story? 
Is this about those ceiling lights that look like nipples? No, no, not those. No, this is different. So, um, so we have this in our Halloween decorations. We have like this spider web thing, and it's it's they they're they're Christmas lights, but they're arranged in like a spider web pattern. And they have, like, I think they have purple bulbs on them instead of, like, white or, like, the regular, like, multicolored whatever. Um, so we usually hang it up in the corner of the living room because it's, I mean, like, it's it's pretty big size. Like, it's, it's a decent size, like, lighting thing or string of lights or whatever. So we'll hang it up in the corner of the living room for Halloween. So Tom comes over... Um, you know, again, this is like forever ago, and we have the lights up, and he has a couple of drinks. Was that was that the eighth year that we did the Nomster Mash? I don't know. Maybe I don't remember. The what? The Nomster Mash. I'll get to the Nomster Mash the... in a second. Oh, okay. Um, but he like, you know, he he gets a little tipsy, and Tom Tom is like, like Tom's hilarious when he's sober, but he's just like, he's. He's a goofy drunk and, you know, he, he doesn't drink very often. He doesn't, he certainly doesn't get drunk very often, but when he does, he's just, he's very silly and very giggly and Allie can confirm this. She knows because she's seen drunk Tom just once or twice, you know, um, goofy drunk is a good way to describe it. Yeah. So, um, he is a goofy drunk and he like he's just doing his thing being goofy drunk tom and he looks up and he sees this like these spiderweb christmas lights there's these spiderweb lights and he's like he's like <laughs> light nipples <laughs> and he just dies we die because we're not drunk we're sober and drunk tom is already drunk and he starts just he just says light nipples <sighs> And God bless him. God bless that fucking potato. Uh, he does get louder. Man, y'all should hear him when he's not on stream. He can he can get loud. He's a he's a he's a very feisty potato. That Tom. Uh, all right. So the Nomster Mash. Um. So. For those of you, I was trying to get you to make the voice, huh? I was trying to get you to do the voice. The Nomster Mash. So, for those who are not aware, um, we do a barbecue every year here at home. Well, not not last year and not this year either, um, but we usually do an annual barbecue on the Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, and we call it Nomster Jam. Like this. Nomster jam. There you go. Um, so, Nomster jam is, it's, it's my excuse really to do two things. Um, one, I cook way way too much meat for people because I love cooking for other people. Um, and two, um, I cut a promo for it. So like every year I'll do like, hold on. Let me go to, let me go to my SoundCloud. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm actually not kidding. SoundCloud is where I keep like my my radio stuff. Um, let me go. Okay. Do 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 do. There's one, two, three, four, five. Two. I want to say that. What was the best one? I want to say 2017 might have been the best one. All original. All right. You got it. All original. Right here from the big bag, baby. Um, 
let me see. Let's let's pause pretzel for a second. And let's do 2017 cuz that was Oh god, how loud is this going to be? This is going to be really loud, I fear. Oh, oh, there's the volume control. Okay, okay. Whew. All right, let's let's bring that Let's bring that down a little bit. Oh, it's not even it's not even loud. All right, let's turn it back up. You've had the beef. You've had the chicken. You've even had the pork. But this Memorial Day, there's something new for you to gobble. Nobster <laughs> Jam 3 is coming on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. One night only. Come see all your favorites and meet this year's special guest, Oven Roasted Turkey. It's the carnivore event of the year, so get your tail feathers down to the Zunder Dome. Nomster Jam 3. If you're not there, get roasted. Yeah, that was that's pretty good. I think that's still like the crowd favorite is is the one from 2017. God, that's been so long now. That feels like a hundred years ago. But I tell you, I made that turkey and I don't know if it was that year or the year after. Um, but like I made the turkey and I made, oh no, I think it was maybe two years after. Because I had the turkey, I had the, like the prime rib roast, I had... Um, a couple of other things, um, and like of all of this other delicious shit that I had, like the turkey went the fastest, like it was ridiculous, but I mean, I do make a mean turkey. I do. I am very proud of my turkey. Oh yeah, Ali. I like, I, I really wanted to give it like that monster truck commercial feel. Like it's just, that's my excuse. Like this Nomster jam is my excuse to do a thing like that. Yeah. And it's I actually fun fact. I used to be in radio a long time ago for a brief time. I uh, worked at a local radio station in my hometown, um, and I would do voice tracks on the weekends. And there were it was a two station cluster that I worked at. So there was an adult contemporary, which means like, um, like what's what's the, what's the the demographic like? Adults thirty five to fifty ish. Um, primarily female. Um, and that was Magic One Hundred Five Point Nine. Um, yeah, kind of, yeah, soft rock. Yeah, yeah. That's essentially what adult contemporary is: is soft rock and like slightly older pop. Um, but I also and I did like. I usually did like the little weather like updates for that one, but I actually had like full on voice tracks on Saturdays for of all things, the country station. I don't like country music. Do not like it. Not, not, not my cup of tea. Um, but you know, every Saturday, if you listen to the all new coastal country, 104.1, the wave, you could hear me, you know, doing my thing. Um, so that was, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'm I miss that. It didn't pay for shit. Radio doesn't pay for shit. I mean, we've talked about that before, but boy, is it a lot of fun to do. Yeah, sorry, NS. It's just not my not my thing. And I'm from Georgia. Like by all accounts, I should be genetically predisposed to like country, but I don't. Um, but I mean, unless it like unless for some reason it comes out, you don't even hear my like I you don't have, hear a southern accent in my voice. It's just kind of the way it is. Um, like sometimes I'll, I'll draw out words. Um, but you know, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't have much of an accent unless, unless it comes out for some reason, unless I need to give somebody an ass whooping or whatever. Oh, hell nah. Um, so yeah. So for like four years, I did like the, the monster truck style commercials and then for Nomster Jam 5, that was the year, that was um, 2019. 
So that's when um, when did the yeah, so that was like right after Avengers Endgame came out um, was when we did that one. And so I was kind of feeling the superhero vibe that year. Um, so I wanted to do something a little different. In 2015, a group of heroes assembled for a common goal to devour as much meat as possible. This is so ridiculous. For the next three years, so stupid and I love it. heroes would reconvene to face a new fleshy foe, each more daunting than the last. Now they face their greatest challenge yet. Nobster Jam Fights. This year, prepare to throw down the gauntlet and get ready you see what for I did there? more meat than ever before. That's right. Every meat from every Nobster Jam is coming back for an encore, including braised pork belly, oven roasted turkey, and the bacon explosion. But this year, they're bringing their new leader to the party, Standing Beef Rib Roast. So join us on Sunday, 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 May 26th, 2019, for the biggest and meatiest Nomster Jam ever. Nomster Jam 5. Meat to the power of infinity. I had to, like, like it was the thing, you know? And the whole, like, shtick with Endgame was like... The whole shtick with Endgame was like, everybody came back for it, so I brought back every meat that year. I had the chicken. meats. Huh? Nomster Jam 5, Infinity Meats. Infinity Meats. All, every meats. Just every, every meat. They, they're, Allie, are they aging like a, like a fine wine? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. The, the, the broadcast tonight has just, has just devolved. But that's okay. Let's see. What else we got? Um, I don't know. Been kind of a quiet, slow week. It's good though. It's good. Kind of needed it. Hmm. Yeah, this week was all right. I just wish I could figure out this like one work thing. It's been bugging me for two days, and I don't know. I'll figure it out, but I don't know. You've instead been listening to me complain about my thing that I know that I have to, what I had to do and I just didn't want to do it to the point where I was like, I, you know what? No, I don't want to do it. This is awful. This is a bad way to do this. I mean, I've been complaining about my thing that I just keep pushing the same button over and over again, hoping that it works and it doesn't work. So, you know, <laughs> what the fuck is the difference? Honestly, isn't that isn't that a lot of how programming goes? Is just like, please let something in the ether be cached, and now it's gonna work fine. That's almost exactly how programming works. Like eighty percent of the time, is just keep clicking the same button over and over again, and hope that it changes and actually works one of those times later. And then the time that it does work, you're like, okay, cool, it works. I'm done with it. I don't want to touch this anymore. Don't show it to me ever again. The other twenty percent. Don't touch it, don't break it, don't fidget with it, do nothing of the sort. <laughs> because all all code is held up by duct tape and bailing wire. Or duct tape and shoestring, whatever whatever is your preference. Um, the other 20% of programming is like the other day when I found something, I'm like, who fucking wrote this like this? This is so stupid, like this doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> and I looked, and guess who wrote it? <laughs> That's that's the murder mystery right there. <laughs> it's like, yeah, what is it you said that like well, you're the detective and the murderer? <laughs> you're the detective and the murderer. <laughs> it's like watching Super Troopers where they get drunk near the end and like, and I think it's Rabbit. He's like, oh, I guess I'm the asshole. <laughs> I'm the asshole. The perpetrator I've been looking for this whole time was me. It's the perfect crime. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, that's good. Um, yeah. So NS, um, you know, I did the uh, I did the promos for Tab for both um, Donnie her cat and um, Chuck her pug, and so. I had written a script for Maggie for her bulldog. She's got an English bulldog named Maggie. And Maggie is just a big old wrinkly pile of farts. <laughs> like, let me tell you, this dog is adorable. She's And she apparently just shits all over the house. Like, not actually shits, but she has the worst dog farts, apparently. Um, and she... Uh, so I was going to do, like, one of those, like, sad um, commercials for um maggie too but somebody suggested that we do one like like a like one of them like the monster truck ones and so um i'm gonna i want to try to do something with that maybe this weekend and just like have like the maggie promo because i think that would be hysterical to do um but yeah it was pretty good times well i enjoy doing that stuff though i need to get paid to do it I should get paid to do that. I mean, that's why that's why I bought this thing. That's what this thing is for, is, you know, to get paid to do this. Uh, listen, NS, your, your code, your code, I guarantee your code is not any worse than mine. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Thank you, Ali. It is a nice rig. I, I bought this a while, like several years ago i've had this rig for like seven years i want to say Hold on, let me go let me go check my email because i save all of my fucking emails um wait what the hell is this oh yeah uh let's see um do 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 i bought it just over seven years ago i bought it on february 5th 2014 the whole like rig so the the mic the the pop filter the shock mount the boom arm like all of it bought it all together although i might i don't know i guess the cable's okay uh, cable's all right it works it does what it it does what it needs to do um, yeah, it's fine. Oh, uh, okay. Let's, let's play the other music. Let's, there we go. Uh. Just can't use it until you get paid and buy a mixer. Yeah. So let me see. I wonder how much this costs. Um, let me go look at. The place that I usually, if I need to like pro audio mics or mixers and stuff, um, there's a place I go, BSW, it's Broadcast Supply Worldwide, and they have a lot of great stuff. Um, what's the model? The Multimix 4 USB? Do they have it? I don't even know if they have it here. I mean, I'm sure you can get it, you know. Any kind of, any, all kinds of places. I also have an older um, USB box that M Audio made. Oh, that's a, oh, oh, oh. Hello. Oh, but you're not USB. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, but you're pretty. Oh, but you're not USB. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Are you shopping again? No. Maybe. You are, are you? I was just looking. I just happened to see something. It's fine. Uh huh. It's fine. Don't you're worry looking, about it. You're looking the same way that I was looking when I went to a GameStop that one time. That one time, and then you then you accidentally walked out with the PlayStation. Accidentally. Yeah. All right. So they have they have a slightly newer version of my little USB board. Um. It looks, yeah, it's about the same, but it's got effects built onto it too now. Uh, let me show you. So this is this is the updated version of my board. Um, the only real difference is it's got the effects um, 
the effects selector here um, which is nice but I, I never use the effects like I do all of my effects in post process like I, I do it all in post um, so I just record raw audio and then process it afterwards um, but this is nice because like um, where's the that's the front where's the that's the top Is that the only shot of the back I'm going to get, really? Yeah, okay. So back here, there's USB um, throughput. And it's throughput because you can do... Um, it'll bring all of your stuff in. Um, but you can also go back out to it as well. Um, so, like... Yeah, there you go. So there's like the external slash USB to main. So you can, it'll bring all of your stuff in as a microphone input. And then you can have play song, play audio to it as an output and then mix that in to the mains before it goes out. So it's, it's really kind of fantastic, honestly. But now, now we're getting, now we're getting into shop talk. But yeah, that's mine. And then the um, is it the fast track. Let's see if I can find mine. And then my old USB box that I still have. Um, it's a much like more pared down version of what this board does because it's just got the two XLR inputs. It's actually a combo input, so if you look at it, it's got like the weird hole in the middle. So you can do it XLR, or you can do it um, with quarter inch. So either way it works. So I don't use that anymore, but I still have it on my desk because it makes me feel nice. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay. Oh. All right, so maybe we plan on playing Dungeons on Sunday night. Yeah, it's, since we got to pick it up for Elena, which I can do. Okay. I can, um, I mean, if you, yeah, we talked about that. There was a bit of crazy and stuff. We talked about that though, so you know. Let me know. Um, oh, we got it. I'm sorry, I was on mute and at my workstation. Hell no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't hear you when you said it the first time. Just no, oh, no. It's you're you're coming in really. You, your connection's really bad, Elena. Oh really? H E double hockey sticks. No. H E double hockey oh. sticks. Oh. oh, oh, such legs. Or, oh, frick. or oh. she went there. I will just send you oh. the two hundred pack of orange craisins, and you will just have craisins for the rest of your life. Hey, stop that. Ooh, what is this? Notice of legal settlement class action. Ooh, what can I get out of it? Hmm. Food. Actually, money. No, it's a, apparently there's a class action lawsuit against HelloFresh because, like, so we tried HelloFresh um, a while back, and, like, it was okay, but, like, for what you get, it was really expensive just because of, like, all the shipping costs and everything built into it. <laughs> okay, Rose, right? Um, so then we're like, yeah, no, just, no, we're done. Well... They kept calling us afterwards, like, hey, would you like to start your HelloFresh trial again? Or would you like to come back? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no. And our numbers on the national do not call registry anyway. So for telemarketing calls, you're legally not allowed to call. So apparently they got sued. Um, and now, like, they called us a bunch, both me and Sabrina. Um, they called us like a bunch. It was ridiculous. Um, 
Like, I think we got called like once every couple of weeks from HelloFresh. Like, mm, yeah. I'm like, no, stop fucking calling. I'm not doing it. So, yeah. Well, good. Then I will keep this. Oh, hey, that's funny. I just looked at the subject line of the email. Or the, I'm sorry, the sender of the email. Um, and <laughs> Lollipop, you'll get a kick out of this. It's the settlement administrator for HelloFresh TCPA. <laughs> oh. So, for those of you who are not aware... If we, if we show up on, to work tomorrow and we have rework, it's your fault. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, for those of you who are not aware, TCPA is the Telephone Consumer Protection Act of 1991. It was signed into law by um, George Bush, or George H.W. Bush, Daddy Bush. Um, basically, it was an amendment to the Communications Act of 1934, and it provided like a lot of rights to um to telephone users um but like that's where like they put in things like telemarketers can't call you outside of certain hours um like um solicitors had to maintain like a do not call list oh god dad <laughs> listen that's that's what he that's what people called him don't tell me i'm wrong tell me i'm wrong um, they had to like honor the do not call registry. And then, then they like, that's not terribly long after that is when they set up all the online stuff where you could put in your phone number to be on the registry. Um, like no unsolicited faxes, which that was a thing. People's fax machines would get garbage ads like faxed to them. Um, what, what do you mean? Who broke your button? Your button's there. It works. You gotta, you gotta put it in. You gotta put it in the, the chat. Here, I'll do it. I'll take care of it. What are you kids doing in my house? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that. Anyway, um, so, oh my god, the extended warranty. No, you don't. You don't get new car. You don't get new car music in us because you because you said the extended warranty. I get no. How many of those did I get today? Today alone, I swear, someone, I swear someone sold my number to text because I got like 15 text, spam texts today. No, oh, I believe and it. I like it. It's weird though because I'll go a while without getting many now that we're through election season mm -hmm. and I'm not getting Jeez. 20 a day regarding election season. But I'll go weeks and then in the span of like two days, it's like, oh, clearly a list got sold again. Cool. So I got. I got two today. Yesterday I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, they're be they've been getting better, but I average I average usually between two and five a day, is what I usually get. So, um, my favorite to screw with in S. So, um, I worked I worked really close with the product support team at the software company I used to work at. And so one day I'm sitting in the office for the support director for one of the products and he gets a spam call like a like a like a, a phishing tech support call like the guy who runs the the tech support group for this IT administration product got the the garbage call so he was going to hang up I'm like no 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 let me fuck with them so I go through all of this shit with them and they go through and they make you open like the event viewer in your computer and they talk about how like you see all these things that say error that means there's a virus in your computer oh god no like and I, I played like the idiot like consumer that had no idea and so it gets to the point where they want to install some remote control software on the computer so that I can um, you know, so they can get in and do their thing and then extort you for money as they do. Um, so I, uh, I got to the point where they are, they gave me like the code for the remote assistant software. I'm like, all right, here's where I'm going to tell you who the fuck I am. 
and my credentials. And so like, I'm like, so I, I explain all this and I'm like, so I know that you are full of shit. And I'm like, so, so what do you have to say? And he like, he panicked for a second and he goes, what did he say? He's like, fuck. It was like the, it was like the, the weirdest in the weirdest way to make like a, your mom insult ever. Like, fuck, I I can't remember it now. Now I'm sad. But, like, he panicked and then he hung up. It was hysterical. Like, it was great. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, tell him you're reporting to the FBI. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fucking lootly. That's cyber fraud. Hmm. I suggest you do what your parents did. Get a job, sir. <sighs> yeah. So, anyway. Long story short. TCPA is, is designed to, to help with that sort of thing. Which is why spoofing phone numbers is like a really... <laughs> your mom's an extended warranty. Wait. <laughs> um, which is why so many of these spam callers spoof phone numbers now. Which, spoofing numbers is like stupid easy to do like I could do it for right now it's just so bad in the name of Jim Browning oh Jesus oh this guy just fucks with oh my god He's Irish, like, he's Irish-Irish. Oh, that's great. That's great. No, NS, you don't get it. No, none for you. You already ruined it. You you, you lost new car privileges tonight. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, it's just... It's just so, like, these fucking spammers and scammers, man. They're just... They're just the dumbest. Just so bad. Ah. Uh. <sighs> well. But yeah, I could get like, it says I can get like 30 to 50 bucks out of this. So that's coming out of my junk mail. Elderly dating. Hmm. Search for seniors dating near me. No thanks, I'm in Florida. There are too many. <laughs> oh, that's good. Wow, this is... This is just... You don't want to join a swinging crew of, like, the, the like retirement complexes? No, no. I'm not and going into a 55+. Totally... plus. No. You could totally just, you know, like dye dye your hair gray a little bit and just go. No, I'm not no, I'm not gonna dye my hair gray because I already have so too many fucking people who have said I look like fucking Santa Claus, so no, I'm not just no. Fucking no. Dear USAA member, a money transfer has just been sent to your USAA account. For security reasons, we have temporarily put a hold on this payment. Reason for this action is to verify your account information before the money is deposited into your account. Log on below to accept payment. Oh, such lovely spam. And how many red flags can we spot in that email? Oh my god. Like, the red flags. Do you even have a USAA account? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Red I'm flag number one. Uh, I'm not eligible to get a USAA account because I'm not... Oh, nor am I the immediate family member of someone who has served in the military, so I don't get USAA. I have considered looking into exactly what I would need to have because my dad was military, mm -hmm. but I don't speak to him, so it feels like I'd be like benefiting off of someone I hate. So I don't know. No, you would be if getting could, your due. Find, it's if different. I could figure out what I'd. If I could figure out the proof, I would actually do it because they've heard they're actually really decent. They are. They, uh, from what I understand, they do have a lot of like great services and like getting everything under one roof is like really um, 
um, like convenient because you can do all your banking, your insurance, like all of it there. Um, I want to say, let's see. The problem is, is my dad's records are probably like freaking lost to time because we're talking about someone who was enlisted in the 1950s, so. <laughs> it's not like it's, you know, 40 years ago and on the internet, maybe. I mean, it's it's on the internet. And it's it's on the internet somewhere, I guarantee it. And Yeah, yeah, you Yeah, it is there. It's everywhere. Yeah, and as you have to you we I tend to blame Tom for a lot of things just just cuz he probably deserves it. Let's see. I'm trying to see Yeah, but I think you have to pay for a lot of it because, like, a friend of mine who's really into genealogy was like, did some research, um, on my dad's side of the family because it's 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 really kind of interesting, um, for me at one point. But she's already subscribed to a lot of those sites, so she had more access than I would. Yeah, well, um, like a lot of those records have been digitized by. Um, actually, Ancestry. Ancestry, like, they have gone through and they've gone through the trouble of, like, scouring a lot of these records and digitizing them, which is why it's so goddamn expensive, because they've actually done the work for you already. Yeah, oh, yeah, she did find it. His muster date was 1956. So, I don't think I have access to the actual records, but yeah, because she was doing research on it, because we, we, we laugh that it my 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 family history must have been a literal soap opera because the daughter of a railroad ceo hooked up with a schizophrenic orphan and had my father huh and then got married to someone else sure in like the 1930s so you know when such things weren't done all right let's see what does so. it say says, what you need, your date of birth, contact info, and social security number, details about you or your family member's military service. And it says... Oh... Oh... Mm. Let's see here. It says, or spouses, and spouses in... Um, children of USAA members so he might actually have to be a member of USAA for you to be able to do it because yeah yeah well it's all right. he isn't because he doesn't have money which is fine <laughs> I just wasn't sure if it was family members without them being yeah hmm I know a good credit union you could join. Eh. Chris has already joined. It's fine. Yeah, it's not a bad I'm person. I'm not actively looking to mo join move, like, us. banks. The only reason I was ever interested in USAA was in insurance stuff. Yeah, they do have really good like, insurance. Like, I would move banks if it was, like, if I was doing all of that at one place, but I just have heard really good things about USAA's insurance, so that would be why I would actually, like, bother. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. The only reason we haven't fully... I mean, well, not the only reason, but we haven't fully swapped off of our current bank because they keep... They keep catching when I get skimmed, mm -hmm. and apparently I get skimmed a lot, yeah, yeah, you do. I don't know. I don't know. Pinellas County is like notorious about that, though. Dude, Pinellas County Animal Services is the last is the last time we got I, I know, I know. Ines, you were the wrong credit union, my friend, because credit unions are. Now, I I say this bias because I work at one, and I work at like a really fucking good one, um, but credit unions are are designed to not screw you. So you must have been at a like not a not a good one. 
And Lollipop, I mean, you, you back me up here, but like where we work, like we actively try to, to make things easier on people. Mm hmm. It's chill. Isn't it? Isn't it nice? Man, so I got a, I got a Windows update before the show tonight, and they have changed the icons in File Explorer. Like, whoa. Like the folder icons and some of like the, like some of the system folder icons and shit like that. And, there. Ooh. They're nice. Please tell me they're still recognizable to a 60-year-old who computers confuse her. Yeah, they're fine. Here, I'll show you. Um, okay. Where's the... Uh... I'm not worried for myself. I am worried for my coworkers. No, it's okay. So, like, the... Here, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, an idea of what this looks like now. So, let me... Um, I wonder if this will work. I don't think that works. No, that's that's my email. I don't care about that. Um, Read your email. Secret yeah. emails from the Microsoft Store. Right, Microsoft Store and my DoorDash order and my my FedEx <laughs> delivery and you know. <laughs> All right. I didn't even see that much. I just saw the Microsoft Store and was like. <laughs> Oh, that's Zach. Yeah, that's not, that's when I, bu I bought the <laughs> DLC for Minecraft Dungeons. And then I got an email earlier about, hey, Surface's stuff on, Surface stuff is on sale, so, you know. I guess I can't, I can't share that one, that particular window. Yeah, oh well. Um. Wait, hold on, let me, let me try something real quick. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait, here we go, here we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, well, it's small, but... So that's what the new icons look like in... Yeah, there we go. Oh, God, I'm gonna get asked why it's blue. But that's not bad. Okay. No, that's it's not... really all that... Well, like... Fuck it... with her a little bit. Tell her we swapped to Max. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't... Don't swap Chris, to Max. Chris, do you want to be Pam's tech support? <laughs> nope. Do you, you want to be Pam's tech support? Because this is how you become Pam's tech support. Do you want ants? Nope. Because this is how you get ants. Because this is what happens. Like, something will change. Or, like, you know how Teams isn't, like, 100% accurate about, like, people's activity dots. Like, it sometimes just does what it wants. It's like any messenger. They're not always 100% accurate. And she's like, you're white. Set yourself to not white. And I'm like... Listen here, you little shit. Just message me. And if I don't respond, assume I'm not here. I love teams. I use personal teams. I am, oh. I am not a fan what of... What flavor do you want, NS? Because, because I greatly valued the ability that most of my conversations were stored elsewhere. It's really nice for specific people to have the ongoing conversation to be able to scroll back up and reference. But for every random Joe Schmo that messages me and asks me a question, I don't need a forever conversation for. So and yes, I could hide them, but that's like, feels like band-aiding a problem that they could have just not made in the first place. Oh. And that's the problem with with that's that's not an issue of Teams specifically. The Teams desktop app is built in Electron. All Electron apps are like that. Because Electron apps are Chrome 
with other shit on top and below it. That's why. So it sucks RAM because it's chrome. Well, it shouldn't be chrome. That's the way Electron is built. It sucks. I don't like it. I don't like Electron apps either. But that's just the way it is. But a lot of the apps that you enjoy are Electron apps. The Discord desktop app, that's an Electron app. That is Chrome with other shit above and below it. I would just love, and maybe this is not this is something I just haven't even discovered, but I would just love to be able to opt into my conversation history back where it was just somewhere else. Like it was in an Outlook folder, just shove it in a OneDrive folder where I can go look through it, but it's not all there all forever. But that's just me. And I'm I do. I'm really overwhelmed with large influxes of information. I do miss that from Skype for Business and Link and Office Communicator, yes. all that. I do miss having that. But I also, like, at the same time, it was kind of weird to have the, um, like, the partial conversations and then the full conversations. So, like, you would get duplicates of, of, of conversation history. It was a little weird. But it is what it is. Yeah, I just, just because I had like a bajillion conversations that I never needed to worry about and they were just whatever. And the, the ones I cared about, I knew what, where they were, but now it's just like sorting through. I'm starting to try and pin a few people, but the problem is, is I think I have more people that I need to keep track of than I can actively pin. And so it's just... I can't organize, like, I used to, Skype, I used to organize people by different groups, and if I was focusing on something like a supervisor hybrid project, I'd keep the supervisor group open so I could see availability and everything, and I can't do that yeah. anymore. I can just pin a bunch of people, but that, who I want pinned might change in a month. Like, right now, I'm working with two developers on a project, and hopefully if it, we stop having to abort the bot, because, if, you know, if we stop, if we get all the errors worked out, hopefully I won't need to be talking to them in two months. So, yeah. it's just... Whereas I could have them in the RPA project thing and then collapse that in a little bit. But, whatever. So It's not, like, the end of the world. It's just, like, my, my one legitimate gripe. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let's see. I don't know if I got anything in the sticker box. The sticker tub here. I might, I might not. I don't know if I have them in here. Do I just have the dev one? I think I do. I don't think I have like a regular one. Is that a canary one? That is a canary. This is my... This is my my sticker tub. Most of my miscellaneous stickers are in here. Um, so, not to be, again, not to be a shill for a company I've never worked for and probably never will, um, but like, you wanna you wanna talk about like being able to leave tabs open and not worry about like your computer catching fire. Freaking Edge, baby. Edge. Edge is just Chrome with better, like, features. That's all it is now. It works the exact same way, but with better shit around it. And Edge has a thing called sleeping tabs. So if you have tabs open that you haven't looked at for a little while, it will put them to sleep. And it's like, nope, you're not doing is anything there, right now. Is there an option to opt out of... Internet Explorers. I'm gonna randomly open Edge because this site doesn't work in Internet Explorer anymore. Uh, um, is that on your work computer? Yeah. Then no. No, okay. that's those are policies Not that, that are like doled out. 
Okay, that's what I kind of figured because I'm just I don't use Explorer at home, and I'm kind of considering Edge for home. I haven't decided that I want to switch. I'm just very so fully ingrained in the Google system. Brave is um, Brave is good too, Cracko. Brave's a Brave is good if you're if you're like getting outside of the. I mean, I'm in Microsoft's ecosystem, but yeah. But I swear to God, every time I try to go to some website and it's like blah blah blah, Reese open take you know hijacks my computer to open Edge. I'm just like ready to shank something. Yeah. And I know the answer is don't use Internet Explorer, but um, when my company necessary functions all work on Edge, I will happily stop using Internet Explorer. Yeah. Until I have Internet Explorer mandated. Um, cr Chromium's okay. So, oh, go ahead, Lollipop. No, I was just gonna ask you. Did um, if you're on a later, on a later uh, Windows build, um, does your copy of Edge have the, um, the vertical tabs that have the auto expand for when it's uh, for when the tabs are shrunk? Does that um. Does, is that feature in for you yet? Because I haven't been able to... I was seeing something about that, and I haven't been able to get it to work, and I'm curious if it's in, and we can soon have it. So that's not... So, so Edge... So now that Edge is... All like, all of Edge is, like, based on Chromium and no longer, like, the old, like, what they call the Trident engine, or I guess it was the Edge HTML engine, since it's no longer, like, the, the Internet Explorer stuff and it's all the Chromium stuff now... Edge releases aren't tied to Windows anymore. So you can actually get like, you can get beta, dev, and canary builds of Edge that have all those features, just like you can do for Chrome. There are like, just like there's canary and, and dev builds of Chrome, you can do the same thing with Edge. Um, and I have the vertical tab. I don't know if mine auto size. You know what I mean? Like, if you hover over the tabs, the, um, the pane will expand out if you don't have them pinned if you don't have the pane pinned oh yeah no i got that yeah yeah that's already here so here i'll show you so um let me show you my uh, who's it what's it there should be a way to make it so that it just stays like that and i haven't been able to figure out how to do that yet all right so are you talking about Let's see. Let me grab the window real quick. Um, and let me reduce it down so it's a little bit easier to see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So are you talking about this thing of a right here where if I hover over, it pops out like that. And then I, I move away and it just collapses back down again. Yeah, there should be a way to make it so that it doesn't just expand when you hover. Because, like, in a lot of instances, I won't... Um, like, I'll go to click on something, one of those tabs, and I don't need it to expand all the way out. And it does... Oh, so you want it to like stay on off to the side. You want it to stay yeah. collapsed. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe it's actually in settings now. Um, where was under? I can never remember where it is. Oh, this is just theming zoom. Oh, yeah, I forgot they have the themes in now. Show vertical tabs button. Yeah. I don't I don't think there's a way to like keep it collapsed. 
Like, I mean, like even when you hover, like when you hover, it's going to pop out. So you can either like leave it out mm -hmm. by pinning it or you can collapse it to where it's out of the way, you know, for this kind of stuff. But you hope, you know, you hover over, it's going to, it's going to show up anyway. Mm -hmm. I think, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. I don't think there's a way to keep it like. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Worth a shot. I wouldn't mind doing a tech help stream. I remember watching the screensavers way back in the day, back when that was on tech TV and then G4. Wait, G4 is coming back, isn't it? I think it is. They were talking about it coming back. Uh, slated to relaunch in the summer of 2021. Mm-hmm. X-Play and Attack of the Show are coming back. I do remember the pipes. Yeah, I do. Yep, I remember the pipes. And then there was, there was like, there were Easter eggs in the pipes. I forget what the Easter eggs were in the pipe screensaver. I know there was the teapot, but there was something else. Maybe it was just the teapot, but like every once in a while, if you configured the, the settings of the, the pipe screensaver, every once in a while, instead of like the little ball joints in the, the corners, there would be a teapot instead. Just, just fucking teapot. That was cool. A thunder screensaver. If I had one, I would do one. I'd put it out there. Nobody uses screensavers anymore, though. Ah... My company would object. They regularly use new and different and weird screensavers. I like speaking I of. I have a bunch of people waving to me now. Hold on, let's see. Um, where is it? The. Is there? Can I get a? Can I get a gift of this? Y'all got gifts. Uh, type animated GIF. Yeah, that was the good shit right there. Let's see. Where's the where's the Sherry Majig? Yeah, the flying toasters. That was that was the screensaver back in the day. Um Oh, the maze one was good. The 3D maze were like, where like the walls would come up and it would go around. Hold on, let me see. This is... I got you, Allie. I got this. That's it. That's the one right there. That's the one. Yep. I like the maze. The certain Windows Media Player settings would have backgrounds that would sync perfectly to the music, like the Dancing Alien. Yes, I do remember that. Man, that's something that I miss is like legit visualizations. Like Winamp. Winamp had the best visualizations for music and shit. And like it had all the plugin system to where. Like, a lot of the times what I would listen to, I wouldn't even listen to, like, like recorded music. I would listen to chip tunes, like actual chip tunes. So the data files from, like, NES, Super NES, Game Boy, Genesis, um, like, data files, and actually listen to the music soundtracks from that because there were synthesized, um, like, plugins for Winamp that you could 
just load up right in there and it would it would actually like emulate those sounds um so that was that was pretty neat all right folks we are we're done Z's. we're we're done we uh we had a we had a nice slow night tonight it was it was good though i enjoyed it did y'all have a good time i hope you had a good time mm -hmm. we didn't have a whole lot to talk good about night. this week but you know it was what it was um let's see today's wednesday um friday we will be back with, um to our regularly scheduled friday night happy hour this week um you do not want to miss friday night happy hour this week um this is if 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 there is a, a, an episode to watch, this Friday's is the one to watch. Um, I have some big, big, big surprises. Um, the crew doesn't know about. Uh, Tom, I don't think, will have alcohol. But, um, yeah, I have, some, I have some really big surprises. Um, so, you know... <laughs> fingers crossed that everything works um so yeah we will be playing we'll be back in regular minecraft bedrock on friday night um i do want to show a couple of things um including the stuff at SeaWorld that i haven't shown yet i did some some cleanup some terraforming all that kind of fun stuff um and then i think we might do dungeons on sunday so i'm gonna start working on the the preparations for that Tom has streamed drunk before. We should, we should, Allie, get Tom drunk on Friday. That's, that's, that's your, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to get Tom, to get him white girl wasted on Friday. <laughs> Don't, he will not stream, he will not be under stream drunk, but he will not. Um, no, it's, no, but... <laughs> Kraken's Kraken's always here. Dad's always watching. I'm always watching you, Wazowski. Always, always watching. watching. Uh, no, Tom just doesn't like to like do his own thing. So, but he he loves to come and give me shit, which is actually one of his favorite pastimes. So, um, so yeah, Friday night. Um, be sure to be here for Friday night happy hour. Big big stuff. Um. I, I would believe it, Allie. I would believe that. Um, the bar. Come on, we just need 14 more followers. Tell all of your friends to come follow the channel. I gotta give away that Game Pass Ultimate subscription. Because it is just burning a hole in my pocket. Like, Cough, you get Octopath Traveler. Cough. You get Octopath Traveler. You get all of EA Play. So you don't just get the Xbox Game Pass stuff. You get all of EA Play now, too. You get all of it. So, you think of an EA title, most likely it's there, including new release stuff. So, get on that. Tell people to follow the channel. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Um, we got the big surprise on Friday. Sunday night, most likely, Dungeons. We talked about the bar. Oh, oh, don't forget. Um, if you haven't yet... Um, go get your merch from the new store the new store i've got my order it's coming in tomorrow um so i'm going to check out the quality i've been told by a couple of, of of um very trusted sources that the stuff that they produce is very good um so i'm very excited about seeing how my stuff turned out including a kidarino sticker i'm gonna have a sticker of the very good boy he's a very good boy the very good kidarino boy um uh let's see what else um i think that's mostly it so yeah friday night you do not want to miss it the the uh the crew is gonna just yeah y'all are gonna lose your fucking minds i just i cannot wait i cannot wait all right let's see who's who's a streaming right now um fire ayla gene let's see let us let us drop in on friend Ayla. We love friend Ayla, and I'm so glad that she's um, she's streaming again. So, 
I will, Allie. Um, so we're going to raid Ayla. Um, here is the raid message. Use it if you want to. If not, I ain't you pappy. But it'll be fun times. Um, so see you again Friday night, 7.30 Eastern to 11 p.m. for all kinds of ridiculous shenanigans in tomfoolery with emphasis on the tom. Um, until then, see y'all later. Take care.